Peter's mother-in-law had come down with a fever, and Jesus touched her hand and healed her. Let us see what outcome will come out of this action by examining the word of God. In Matthew 8, 14 to 15, this is what it says. When Jesus came into Peter's home, he saw his mother-in-law lying sick in bed with a fever. He touched her hand, and the fever left her, and she got up and waited on him. There is a reason why Peter's mother-in-law got a fever. It was in fulfillment of the judgment in Leviticus 26, 16. God said, I, in turn, will do this to you. I will appoint over you a sudden terror, consumption, and fever. They will waste away the eyes and cause the sword to pine away. Also, you will sow your seed uselessly, for your enemies will eat it up. Fever is the terror that comes for not carrying out all commandments of the Lord God, for rejecting His statutes, and for breaking His covenant. The fundamental cause for this fever is because Jesus made people worship Him by performing signs and by touching the hands of sick with His hand, instead of making people turn back to the words of God. Jesus points with His finger by healing people just by touching them if they were willing. Through this action, Jesus was not revealing the work of God and what God wants, but He was displaying Himself to people with His hand and made them believe in Him. Because of this, the worthless and wicked people walk with a perverse mouth, and they become the fourth circumcision, which has nothing to do with sorrow. When this fever come upon you, your spiritual eye is darkened, and your soul will be pined away. It is just as prophesied in Leviticus 26, 16. Jesus made everyone until the age spiritually blind by pointing with his fingers. All the fish that Jesus sowed were futile, which is why no one in the past 2,000 years worshipped or served God. No one carried out his commandment. No one kept his covenant, and everyone died. The seed that the sowed were eaten up by the enemy of God, which is the why Peter's mother-in-law also died as a result. Especially, the sowing that God's meant is for people to rule, enjoy, and subdue the eternal earth that God had created, keep God's commandment, and live forever as God has originally intended when He created mankind. The sowing is to proclaim the word, the gospel of God, so the people can gain eternal life and live forever on earth without ever dying. The lesson here is that you reap what you sow. Let us read Job 4, 6-9. Is not your fear of God your confidence and the integrity of your ways your hope? Remember now, whoever perished being innocent? Or where were the upright destroyed? According to what I have seen, those who plow iniquity and those who sow trouble harvested. By the breath of God, they perish, and by the blast of the His anger, they come to an end. Jesus pointed with His finger and rolled on the ground. He touched Peter's mother-in-law's hand and healed her fever. He stretched out His hand and touched the lepers and healed His leprosy by saying, I am willing, be cleansed. Because of doing these things, Jesus made everyone who claimed to believe in Him stumble and fall and die in their sin, and He made them go against God's will until now. God knew that people will do this, so He declared 2,667 years ago in Jeremiah 6, verse 13, from the prophet even to the priest, everyone deals falsely. And He also declared in Job 15, 4, you do away with reverence and hinder meditation before God. This is absolutely the truth. The Word is God. But rather than seeking the words of God and what God wants, people ask to fulfill their own needs and their desires. And Jesus listened to those words of man and placed himself higher than even God. So he abolished reverence for God. This is why Jesus became the ruler of the kings of the earth. As written in Job 29, 25, which says, I chose a way for them and sat as chief. So the whole world drank wine and has gone mad in Jesus' name, just as God has declared throughout the Bible from around 3,422 years ago. That is why prophecy in Job 4 verse 9, By the breath of God they perish, and by the blast of His anger they come to an end, has come true now in this age. The Spirit of Truth has already come, and the Word of God has been declaring the Word of New Covenant through the Spirit of Truth. This Word is the breath of God and the blast of His anger. In other words, it is also the living water. 
and the water of life that gives life forever. It is also the fresh water and flowing water. It is written in Hebrew 8 verse 8. The time is coming, declares the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of the Judah. So now that all the truth is being revealed, the truth about Jesus is also being revealed. So instead of man, Jesus, we must now fear the Lord God, and we must turn back to the word of new covenant in Hebrew chapter 8 now.